know with the power button. <laughs> really? Oh, here it is. Sorry about that, guys. So, are you ready for the moment of truth? First time booting it up. <coughs> Ooh, what happened? A light sensor that Yakia is the tire's name, I think. Hello and welcome to Yasash TV. This video is a continuation of my last video. If you want to see a last video of unboxing of 2001 batch of S18, click on the link type uh, right top corner. Uh, so we're gonna what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna answer some of the questions people have asked on YouTube uh, and Facebook and we're gonna set it up boot it up and make it ready for the ride first ride so let's crack on so first of all just want to quickly check the tire that somebody asked what tire close up the obvious difference that is very obvious and to me it looks different is tire the difference between 2001 batch and 2002 batch this tire is Okay, so this is the name of the tire, I think. Yakia. Yakia. Yakia, sorry about that. I just received a phone call. Yakia is the tire's name, I think. I don't know, I'm sorry, I don't know much about tires. But this is the obvious difference, tire. Definitely is the obvious difference there. And those who already own S18 can tell better what they see different. And this is the, if there is any difference between. By the way, I received this wheel by air. So this wheel arrived yesterday to E-Rides headquarter yesterday by air straight from China. It took entire weekend, I think, Saturday, for Saturday. It arrived in UK on Friday. On Saturday, Sunday, it took to clear from the custom. And on Monday, it received, it was received by E-Rides. They called me. I told them, do not ship it to me because we are locally in London. So I told them I'm going to just drive to your headquarter, E-Rides headquarter, and I'm just going to pick it up. I wanted this as fast as I can. I didn't want to waste a couple of more days in the shipment. So I just drove to E-Rides headquarter and just picked it up. That's it. So this is the story. It was ordered back in December, 4th of December. And it was not in stock. It arrived straight from China to E-Rides headquarter and I picked it up myself. So let's crack on. Um, we're gonna, first of all, we're gonna install the app in the mobile phone. Okay, so app is installed. I'm gonna put some screen recorder on the app so we can see it in live. I never used Kingsong app before. I don't know how to. Okay, searching for device. So this is the very first time I'm gonna be booting this baby up. So I don't know where the power button is. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, here it is. Sorry about that, guys. So are you ready for the moment of truth? First time booting it up. Ooh, what happened? Oh, okay, so you have to press and hold. Uh, okay, in... Uh, you know why this happened? Because I'm coming from in motion and in motion is the entirely opposite thing. Like you have to short press. In King Song, you have to press and hold. So it's locked currently as usual. We knew it. Lights are working. Okay, now we're going to look in the app again. Back to app. Search for the device. It did find it. Let's go. Connect it successfully. Vehicle is locked. So how to unlock it? Oh yeah, this button. Yes, unlock. Ooh, it got a lie. <laughs> the wheel had a little bit of motion i think it's not fully active the motor is active i can see a little bit resistance but it's not fully active because of the handle i believe so as soon as we put the handle down i'm expecting it to 
be fully active yeah now it's fully active so what is this oh my god so now it is fully active we unlocked it and I don't know the app. I this is the first time I'm using this app. Oh, there is a night light. There's a speed settings, voice control. You're gonna I'm gonna go through this. I'm not gonna bore you with that. So it seems like the battery is at 39% from the factory. And this is how it is. So now the next step is so if you can see i saw for one of the comment in on the youtube uh, is check out duff's video because duff knows what are the tweaks that needs to be made and one of the thing that duff was doing in his video was oiling these beams the pillars but in this one there's already a lot of oil installed in my I'll show you the close-ups so in my you see this this is f so oily like already moisture so much moisture and oil is there see uh, even if you touch it you just touch it there's so much oil in there so it's well oiled it's oil that much that it can even ruin your clothing so these beams are well oiled already and those like i said who already have s18 can confirm about these rings if there needs to be if they are any different anyways so we back to so now we have pump here i'm going to open the pump up and get back to you so we got the pump out i don't know what this is if you guys know anything this came with the pump a belt type thing with two screws and the pump is really good quality like i can tell you can tell from the feel the pump is really good one i don't know what that belt is for uh anyways let's go so they say you have to press it really hard bring the shock out and then you need to install the block nowhere so let's quickly look at the user manual for this shock so so now we're gonna just open up these valves uh, covers from both we're just gonna push you see fully down or maybe we just sit on it but it can fully be pushed and now so now we have fully compressed the suspension out we put the brake here as you can see and now we're gonna try and inflate it's raising the brake this is rising okay i'm already sweating <laughs> wow this pump is really difficult really? it's not easy it's not moving at all Let's see if we put some air yet. We put about 60 psi already. So I'm gonna go to 200. I weigh about 70 kg. So I'm gonna start with 200. It's stuck at 60. I'm not pressing it properly. Well, I'm not gonna bore you with that and I'll get back to you. yeah we reach 100 yes working this technique is working that's one way to do it 
20. I can't seem to be able to put more than 125 on the top chamber. So I need your guys uh, suggestions. <laughs> what should I do? I can't just... I've done so much, not so much, I can do a little bit more try. But I've done a lot of practice, uh, attempt. I can't cross this point. This is the best I can and put the air. Like beyond this point, pump is just not working. Okay, so my bad. I just quickly learned the new technique. Not quickly, it took my time. So you need to do this. Oh, sorry, I'm. <laughs> we got all the air out. So we need to do this actually, like not not pumping like this. For me, what working is this technique. Bring it down and do this. Bring it down and do this. See, it's coming up. So this is the better way. So instead of this, no, do this. And then slowly just make sure you press the complete inside. See, see this is where this, this is working. Oh, oh man, nobody warned me about this. <laughs> nobody told me this is gonna be like this. Oh man, pumping air is a job. I'm telling you, pumping air is a big job. So I've finally managed to put about 200, somehow like close to 200 PSI in the upper chamber and about 100 PSI in the lower chamber. So now should be fine. Let's quickly take it out as fast as we can so it doesn't it did take out some air, but um, I hope it's not much. And let's put the caps on. I'm pretty sure the lower chamber is fine because it's 100. Even if some air came out, it's gonna be about 89. The top chamber, there was kind of big noise. Psst. So I don't know. So now we need to take out the block. Where is the block? So this is the sensor, light sensor. Let me show you in the close-up shot so this is a light sensor that does the light magic the King song has automatic light on and off and that's the sensor on the top this tire is amazing so guys let me know about this tire this tire is good better bad worse or is better than before it looks nicely threaded tire. Looks to me, look wise, it's very close to MSP tire or I don't know, I don't have much knowledge, I'm not gonna say anything. Okay, let's take out the brick, not the brick, the block. Where did it go? <laughs> Where did it go? It's here. So we need to put some pressure on it. So we finally got this block out. So, ooh, what was that noise? Nothing. So now, as soon as I took it out, this went in and now it looks like some force, some pressure in there and pretty much ready to roll. Just a little bit suspicious about top chamber because there was a big, pss, I don't know. But I did put 200 PSI, so even if it went like 10 PSI down, must be 90 at least. So I'm gonna put the rubber uh, band top at the top and I'm gonna see. First time I'm gonna stand on it and see how much it gets in. First time, barefoot. Ooh. So we got in proper weight. Okay, now we're gonna get off. See where the rubber is. The rubber is about, rubber is cool. And so this will be our idle balance. 
this much is gonna go in without any bumps now we're gonna do some jumps and see how much it gets in so ready for jumps okay so now we see it is going about that much so I think it should be fine this is fine it's not less than a quarter from the bottom so it looks like it's fine it's gonna be fine anyway so now I need to adjust that that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-seven clicks clockwise. Wow. Let's see what difference it made. Twenty-seven clicks clockwise. What did it do? Ah, it's not rebounding up. So we're gonna keep it at 10 anti-clockwise one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen 18 18 so about nine clicks clockwise 18 clicks anti-clockwise now let's see yeah yeah this is fine so next video would be will be first right stay tuned a lot of s18 content is coming if you first time on our channel consider subscribing see you in the next one Stay safe.